In any given year, when sportsmen of all kinds begin to make preparation for playing their games, no one can make certain predictions for what the season's outcome will be like. What they can do, however, is to work hard, finely tune their preparation, and plan to give their best in every contest. No coach could ask for more. Such was the 2008 season for the Washburn Millers. Coming off an unprecedented seventh city championship in 2007 and another trip to the state tournament, the team had a fair measure of rebuilding to do. By season's end, however, even though they would be denied going to state this year, they chalked up an impressive one-loss record of eight wins and two losses, won an impressive eighth city championship in a row, took the Twin City crown, earned the victory in the first round of the playoffs, and had a number of players that received awards for their efforts on the field this year. Here's a game-by-game -game peak at the season, complete with a word from the players themselves. In the waning heat of August, the Millers opened up the 2008 campaign against the Edison Tommies. It was once again a night for the JV to gain precious experience as the varsity put the game out of reach early. At game end, the score was 53 to 6. Punt the ball a couple times. We did that. Johnny, nice job with the snaps. Good punting. Job, Johnny. Um, you know, we got the hands team out there, and that was good. We executed that. I thought they were going to go onside. We got to keep the, our blocks in front, right above the waist in front. But really a good first start. It's a very, very cool thing. Okay, here we go. Bring it in. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, hey, hey, step one, on three, step one, one, two, three, step, step one. one! Morning back, sophomore. We started our season against Edison a little bit ago, and it was a great game. It was a great experience for all of us, and a lot of our younger guys got to get a lot of playing time. I really had a great time. Um, I'm a JV player. I get to play a little bit of varsity, I play running back, and I got a lot of playing time. I had 86 yards, so I had a pretty good time, and a lot of the other younger guys got to get in and showed they could do too.
Henry High School looked formidable in the early going, but Washburn finally took control of the game, sealing a 37-0 shutout against the Patriots. off a little slow you know had a few mistakes but you know second quarter we started rolling everybody started getting attacked to the team people started cheering we got it together and then comes from a close game you know to a far game but they played good so congratulations to Henry. Washburn played well in the first half of their contest against non-conference rival Edina they led at halftime However, an avalanche of back-to-back -back bad breaks, which the Hornets took advantage of in the second half, gave them the victory and the Millers their only loss for the regular season on this crisp autumn evening.
we gotta just keep playing, going all the way hard, no matter if we up or down. We got down in the second half and we dropped our heads. We gotta keep it up all the time. So that's how I feel. That's why the game ended like that. But yeah, we had a good game. The first half, second half, we didn't come out like we did in the first half. And that's why the score ended. And that's what I learned. The Millers had victory on their minds after a week of checking their resolve and they took it out on the Roosevelt Teddies, denying them any score in the game and chalking up 60 points themselves. I just feel to be uh, undefeated in the city. I mean, you know, it, it feels good. I mean, we, we all got our heads clean and we, you know, just work hard to practice. And I mean, us beat all the city teams is, I mean, is a good head start for the playoffs. And I, I'm just excited. This be my last year. We're still undefeated. And I mean, we're still, you know, blowing out teams the way we should. So I mean, I feel proud of my team. And this is my last year. So I go out with a bang. The 45-8 score of this game, another step toward the city crown, showed not only mental preparedness, but also physical opportunism as Washburn handled the South Tigers for yet another win.
can be known, we're playing for the city championship next Friday. All right, it's going to be fuller in this building than it's ever been. We got the fall festival coming up. We got everybody coming. It'll be two undefeated teams, the only last two undefeated teams in the city. And it's got to be a work of preparation. We'll see how the injuries are. If we have to play without, we'll play without. We're hoping to have them uh, both with us and all that kind of stuff. But let's get after it. Great effort today. The back end on three. One, two, three. The back end. This, year, this, is a, this is a big win for us. Last year we came down to the last play and you know we, didn't, we wanted to make sure it didn't happen. So we wanted to come out and make a big statement right off the bat. And that's, uh, that's what we did. In a spirited contest, which was in fact the game that would decide the city championship, the Millers came to play, outplaying the Lakers and outscoring them 63 to 38 in a satisfying victory. Hey, you know what? We haven't had to get after you at all, right? We got after you a little bit at halftime. Way to respond to it, seniors especially. I'm really proud of you. You know, we made a couple mistakes, both with how we played and how we handled a couple situations. I'm really proud the way those guys who handled had those mistakes rebounded. <laughs> uh, and, and that's what it's about. It's about progress. It's about getting better. And guys, that's eight in a row. But you know what? In order for it to be only ours, 
we got to take care of the polars next week, so let's get in here first. Go. Oh. Eight done, three, one, two, three. Eight. Uh, winning the city championship means to me that, you know, we keep a, uh, another streak going, another winning streak in the city, you know, staying undefeated, uh, really keeping our composure, playing a good game, playing tough football like we usually do. Some of the things about this game that were good for us was we had a, uh, we had a good running game, about seven yards on the ground every play, every time we ran the ball, the, the line, they blocked, the running backs ran, uh, the receivers blocked, and then we had a, we had a lot of uh, a good passing game. Uh, a few touch, four touchdowns in the air. You know, we uh, had a lot of highlights. You know, things went great. First half, you know, we was a little, a little slow. Second half, we picked it up. We played like a team, and we we did what we did. We won. Some of the highlights for me were that we didn't play as a team in the first half, but after the first half, you know, coaches gave us a little speech. Then we everybody stood up and did their jobs, and we played as a team and we accomplished our goal. And we got one more game for the city, real city champions. But it's basically it. The warmest thing about this sunny Friday afternoon contest between the North Polars and the Millers was the temperature. The Millers froze out the Polars in their third shutout of the season, 41 to nothing. championships I mean it's it's something else and you know me being a part of four and all my graduating seniors you know we've all played through a lot of hard times but you know we keep winning and we want to keep that tradition going about North uh, they're great athletes man I mean you can't fold over on North they'll bring it to you and we had to come in this game prepared and we did that's why we came out with the W When number one in Minneapolis met number one in St. Paul, more was on the line than merely bragging rights. Both teams came to prove their ability to win outside their conference as well as within it. The Miller's aggressive defense and potent offense would leave no question by the end of the fourth quarter as to which team was superior on this night. Final score, Miller's 22 and Central 6.
Avenging earlier losses to Holy Angels in playoff contests, the Millers would stand tall by the end of this 35-0 game, winning the right to advance, not to mention yet another defensive shutout. goal is right and I really appreciate the way that we played as a team in the second half good job here we go team on three one two three three it feels really great to beat a uh, holy angel because ever since I've been here we ain't never beat them if it's in the first or the second round so it feel real good to go and beat them especially like that 35 to 0 that would make sense D played a good game offense was, was lacking that little first in the first quarter but when the second time half came around we did good we put it work Put in work. My guy Cooter right here, he was putting in work too. Yes, uh, we, uh, defense played real well. Offense uh, slacked a little bit at first, but like Johnny said, they picked it up and uh, we came out, won the game, victorious, and uh, we'll see what happens next. For the second time in two years, Washburn would meet Simley in the second game of the playoffs. This year, the Spartans would outlast the Millers, disappointingly ending their season by a one touchdown advantage as time expired.
By almost any standard, Washburn had a good season, a winning season, not only in terms of victories, but also in terms of instilling confidence in the young men that played the game, something that will stand them in good stead in their futures. Join us again next season as the Millers embark on yet another campaign in an effort to continue the winning tradition.